Isox Masquananji, better known as Musky, a muscled apex predator of the North Country. Greg Underdahl, Pete Wagner, two out of shape Americans with a penchant for fishing. Yeah. And Tom Foolery. <laughs> Soft, silly men versus sleek, terrifying fish. But how can these guys hope to succeed? They'll get by with a little help from their friend. Lifelong friends Pete Wagner and Greg Underdog have a passion for fishing. Oh, it's got my rock. But their enthusiasm doesn't end at catching fish. These guys live to discover people Give me a hug, who share their love of angling. Where did you buy your shoes, by the way? People as unique as the fish they pursue. Yeah! This isn't another fishing show. This is another fishing show. I am in pursuit of my first ever muskie with who? Greg. But who else? Pete frickin' Mena. Pete Mena has invited us to fish with him to go after muskies in Hayward, Wisconsin. We got everything, right? We drag ourselves out of the hotel room. It smells like a pile of wet towels. I'm gonna miss you, smelly old room. We lock the door behind us and head out on our mission. I think our landing's right up here. We drive to the launch ramp to meet Mena. Am's oil truck, Am's oil boat. It's very obvious a professional fisherman has pulled in. Let me get rid of this horrible device. What's that? <laughs> Stick it in my pocket. My phone! <laughs> this is a new age. Social media, baby. Aren't you supposed to stare at phones constantly? Wait a minute. Here, hold on, hold on now. What I do gotta, you do if you're not staring at your phone? I gotta look at this, don't I? gotta check uh, Face Twitter or something here. I can already tell this is gonna be a fun day. Wagner has very limited musky fishing experience. I'm sure Pete's never demonstrated the figure eight before. Muskies will follow your lure up to the boat, you got to be able to trigger that muskie at the boat with a figure eight. You actually want to speed up, especially if you see one coming, but the corners need to be big, and the worst thing you can possibly do is slow down. Out of the box, I can tell I'm going to be getting a lot of today. When you're coming in, you actually want to speed up. Your corners suck. Wide, dude. Wide. It's my first time musky fishing. You know, cut me some slack. You want to make them think it's getting away. Right. That's what's actually natural to the fish. Most people, they react. They want to catch it, so they slow down and make it easy. And they lose interest. But that's not nature. Right. Nature is run away. We casting at the rocks? Yeah, we'll be casting off the same side once I get turned around here. Mena is following contour lines. He's following points, he's following reefs, weed edges. We're casting very large baits, and we're casting, and we're casting. I don't even understand why it's so hard to catch a muskie right now. They say it's like the fish of 100 casts, right? Yeah. Well, actually, usually about 97. <laughs> I must be approaching that mark. I think we did. We must suck. Well, we caught one by 97. A wise man once said, musky suck. Yeah, yeah. You know with musky fishing, it doesn't just all happen all day long. You have these windows that Pete believes in, and we're waiting for one of those windows to open up. But in the meantime, we're tearing our rotator cuffs. Oh my God. Throwing giant pieces of plastic in the water. It's the most ridiculous way to fish that I've ever been a part of. The witching hour, low light evening. That's when you start getting really excited. We're in it. I've been fishing 12 hours. I haven't even seen a foul, not one foul. And mana has been constantly cycling me out with different lures, letting me try everything. Hey, give this a try, give this a try, whatever. He just works on his instincts. Actually, I am going to have you go back to this one now. All right. And then it's gotten quite calm. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Wow. Forget it. Forget it. That'll work. Easy thing. Oh my gosh. The hits the fan. The boat turns into complete panic. I got him, Bob. I got him. <laughs> as just as you brought that lure up. That was so funny. Look what happens. Uh, that was funny. Ooh. I'm so ecstatic that we've got a muskie on and Wagner's got it. He's never caught a muskie before. Oh, he ate it. You're good. Oh, They're all that. monsters to me. <laughs> Number <Dude>. one. 
<laughs> Nicely done. That was hilarious. I was just like, ah, I better switch your lure. <laughs> My first muskie in the main boat. I mean, come on. a boy. Oh, nicely done. Oh, look at us. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. That's a Wisconsin muskie right there. I'm good. We can go home now. I mean, it would be nice if Greg caught a fish, but I can go home now. It's all good. Woo! Congrats! <laughs> Hell yes! Hell yes! Nice. As, nice, nice, as, nice. as the bait hits the floor, that was so funny. I totally <laughs> I don't know if you want to switch now or I not. Might stick I, with, I might stick with what I've got. <laughs> The sun is way down at this point, and we are not 10 casts after my first muskie in my life. <laughs> He's not as big, but he ain't bad. We have been casting all day, and then all of a sudden, sun gets lower, hits the fan. I love it. You still got him? Yep. Okay, because I'm uh, coming with the net. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> he doubles up. I am thankful that these muskies are on camera. Yeah, nothing wrong with that, right? I had a blackout moment where I'm just like, I don't remember the fish hitting. I don't remember how we got it in. All of a sudden I'm holding this thing and you let it go. And I'm like, did that just happen? I have no <laughs> recollection of what just happened. <laughs> Perfect example of how musky fishing is. You'll fish all day thinking you absolutely suck, and then you'll have a window open up. Oh, there he is! Everything changes, and it's a great day. Day two is coming. We still have another 12 hours to fish. Mina acts like he owns the place. He just walks over to the, the bait tanks and catches his own suckers. Just little guys that hopefully are gonna die soon. We don't wish them well. We really don't. We hope that they swim around about, I don't know, a minute or so. The jaws of death come from blow. Why are you smiling over there? That's not fun for that poor. It's defenseless. You know, they feel pain. Oh, yeah. A lot of people don't know that. That's what they're for. That's why we have them. That's why we have them. There's a liquor store in this bait and tackle shop. You know, you got to have everything. <laughs> this is Wisconsin, right? <laughs> Tackle? Yeah. There's more tackle than liquor. They have, them on the got, they have them on the churches, don't they? I mean, they pretty much get beer anywhere in this town. We're going to a completely different lake today. Day number two, Greg's got a tag one. I have nothing but high hopes. Another full day of fishing with Mena in the best part of Wisconsin for muskie. I'm all jacked up. Might be the coffee. I'm excited. It's time to go fishing. It's time for me to catch a muskie. We're casting big baits, but we're also using live suckers. These suckers are huge. You can put that sucker under a float, or you can take that float off and just weight it and drop it down beneath the boat. We are barely at the first hole. We're just getting our gear set up, and we're already throwing a couple casts. That sounds good. A muskie has grabbed the sucker. All right. This fish is moving away from us. We have got to set the hook fast. Somebody, Don't you do this. You gotta, you gotta okay. Who's, who's doing it? I'm doing it, Pete. You ready? Yeah, hit him. Got him. Oh, oh my God. Holy hell. Uh. Oh, my Lord. Holy yeah. smokes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I saw him. It's a, it's a muskie, I believe. Woo. Oh, my goodness. Wow, what a fish. Wow, what a fish. Oh my God. Whoa. Nice. Woo! All right, tell me what to do, Mana. I'm so wound up. Get it over here. I'm so wound up right now. Dude, this is a giant. The biggest, biggest muskie I've ever caught in my life right here. No, I, you can swear like that. Oh God. Oh. This is a very big fish. One of the biggest fish I've ever hooked. Dude, this is a giant. Dude, this is a giant. Oh. I told you there was a couple nice ones. Oh my God. I am a, a nervous ball of energy. This fish is close to being landed. Dude, that is a giant, man. I mean, I know everything's relative, but am I, oh. Mina, how many times have you done this? 
Stop him, Woo! Woo! Yes! Yes, dude! Hey, Greg, that's, a, that's a 50 inch. Yes! Woo! I'm sorry, dude, but that's that's a trophy muskie right there. A 50 incher is like a, a 10 pound bass. Woo! Dude! It's one of my favorite things to see my buddy just losing his mind over something that he just pulled out of the water. Dude, that's a 50 incher. Oh my god. Dude, I caught a 50 incher. I'm freaking, I can't believe it. I mean, I've experienced it over and over. Sometimes it's with, you know, a two or three pound fish. This is a giant, dude. I don't even know how to hold a fish this You know. Oh, dude, this is a giant. I never thought, it didn't even enter my mind. I could be catching the fish of a lifetime on this trip. A 50 inch muskie. That's a trophy. Oh my God, what a fish. Greg is just unable to sort of collect his thoughts. He just keeps saying, oh my God. I, dude, I'm just blown. That's a giant fish. Giant. It is just a great, great thing to watch. Greg losing his mind over a giant fish. Let's get this baby back here. Alright. Oh, oh I, I can't believe it, Pete. This is the fish of a lifetime. I cannot thank Maine enough for this. <laughs> I can't thank him enough. Here she goes. <laughs> oh my god. There she goes, dude. Yeah. I I cannot honestly I can't believe that. I mean obviously I know Hayward is awesome. It's got giant, you know, fish, but I was not thinking I would get a trophy muskie. I mean that wasn't it didn't even enter my mind. I mean <laughs> seriously, like that didn't even enter my mind. And here it's like that that fish was so broad like and just wide and like oh, yeah. I mean I've filmed plenty of those <laughs> you know excited. but I like this side of the camera much more dude <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh that is so great. That was a big Thank fish. you dude. Thank you man. I love you brother. I love you man. <laughs> Mena is a freak of nature. I hate saying that fishermen are athletes. Mena is an athlete. He's in the back of that boat casting, casting, casting. And... Oh. <laughs> Ah, a little sound science. He's a pretty one. Nicely done. It's a little anticlimactic after your monster. I know, I apologize. Get away, Greg. <laughs> but what a neat hit. I mean, he just came up and boom. We haven't even been out on the water that long. Two muskies in the boat. All right, buddy. I really appreciate that. That was awesome. You like the old sound science, don't you? Yellow, maybe yellow. I just switched to yellow, guys. Oh, boy. Wow. Full of fire! <laughs> like Mark Zona would say. F-O-F. -F. Full of fire. Okay, the last sucker. You know, to be a good musky fisherman, you have to use suckers. And you have to do terrible things to these suckers. It's really violent and gory, I kind of feel bad for these guys. But it, they, they catch big muskies. Maida notices out of the back of the boat that the big float, and it's a big float, I mean, you got a big sucker under there, it's just kind of slowly drifting away and pulling that clicker out. He can tell if it's a fish or not, and he even likes to pull the boat up there, and when he sees sometimes these fish just grab it sideways and just hold onto it, and Pete will back the boat up right to him just to try and get him to move, because he can tell if it's a fish by the way the fish moves out, just by seeing the engine pull up to him. Got him. It's a little musky. This is a ruse. Do you want an epi? Greg and Mana have both been looking for ways to bust my balls. And what better way to bust my balls by giving me a net and watching me land a musky? I didn't even hear the real ticket. Nice nut job. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, come on. This is like the poorest net procedure you could ever see in the world, right? Shh, got the whole net. Shh, quiet, quiet. And, right. Oh, but if you coax it. 
<laughs> if I wasn't taking I wouldn't be in this boat, essentially. I was having a good time getting my balls busted, but it would have been nice if we could have spread the ball busting around a bit. It seemed like I was taking like 97 to 98% of it. Pete can't seem to barely break 30 now. Oh, come on, this one's <laughs> over 30. <laughs> Listen to him right away. He's an expert. He knows got, how long now. I got 100% catch ratio. You have no business giving a musky god <laughs> Stay in your lane, Wagner. It's Pete <laughs> Ana. Pretty little fella. When they're small, you just say they're pretty, right? Yeah, oh, they're pretty. Yeah. yeah they're With walleyes, you say, oh, that's a nice eater. But we ain't eating this one. That's a pretty fish. They are pretty here. He's gonna, he's gonna pose a little better for you. Nice. Nice. See you in 10 years. Mana, thank you so much for getting me my biggest muskie ever. Oh, and you two muskies. Now, you went from That's mere crazy. fledglings to pros in just two days. I'm it was a, amazing. I'm a grizzled veteran. Yeah, he didn't have a beard when we started. <laughs> this, appeared. this appeared as the muskie hit my top water. It's an amazing magical really powers muskies have. It really is. Yeah. So while well, we want to uh, remind everybody, subscribe to Pete's channel. Uh, Pete Main, a professional muskie angler. Subscribe to his channel. Of course, subscribe to another fishing show if you haven't already. Pete, parting words. This is another fishing show signing off. Remember folks, don't leave your crawlers in the sun and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. I dedicate this song to Pete Mayna. I finally found the fish of a lifetime. A fish to last my whole life to do. I finally found the fish of a lifetime forever in my heart. I finally found that fish of a lifetime. Ah, oh, it's gorgeous, guys.